everybody welcome back to good buddy tactical and uh sorry for the crude shooting of this video but um there's some information that just came up that uh, i saw on the guns and gadgets uh channel that um is definitely a cause for alarm i'll be very brief and you should definitely go check out the the video over on guns and gadgets because he does a much better uh reading of the whole article from Business Insider, and there's a few other articles that have picked it up right now, but essentially here's the news is that um, some Democratic lawmakers have come up with an idea that would circumvent the need for uh, filibuster-proof legislation of banning guns. Uh, essentially what it is is it's a uh, thousand percent tax on any uh, AR-15 sales. Now, I don't know if that includes uh, uh, handguns, or shotguns. Uh, I need to dig a little bit deeper into that, but I think the language right now is assault weapons, and we all know how vague and uh, comprehensive that can be when uh, they use that term. Uh, the the the, uh, the terminology of semi-automatic might come in there, something like that. I don't know, but um, I have to say this is this is a smart move by the Democrats. I mean, they they were probably thinking about this for a long time. Uh, and I'm sure there was a lot of people in their constituency who have thought this through many, many times, like just make weapons so prohibitively expensive that people just can't get their hands on them. And anyway, this is kind of like a backdoor way for um, these Democratic lawmakers to get what they want. And essentially, for all intents and purposes, uh, ban guns because... If people can't get them, then what difference does it make what the legality is of them? Uh, if they're just completely inaccessible to the majority of the population, then that would be, you know, job well done, you know? They don't need to do anything else. Um, but essentially what uh, seems to be going on is that they're going to try and pass this legislation. They're drawing up the bill right now uh, where they can uh, essentially impose, levy this tax of a thousand percent on any new firearms. Now for y'all keeping score at home, let's say, uh, you know, some lower end or around like 500, some up to 2000, let's just go with a thousand dollars. A thousand percent tax on a thousand dollars is going to be $10,000 added to the thousand uh, dollar stamp or, or the price tag. So that would essentially make any new AR-15 uh, at a reasonable price of a thousand dollars then now be costing around $11,000. And then I think there's also uh, language in this bill to include magazines as well. So a $10 AR-15 magazine, standard capacity magazine, would then cost in the ballpark of $100, $110, something like that. Anyway, um, I don't know um, what to do about this because um, essentially this looks like it could be passed through without any sort of fight necessary in Congress, uh, which would make any sort of Republican um, uh, defense against this uh, mute, because what it looks like they're going to try and do is, because this is a tax bill as opposed to a ban, they're not going to need a filibuster-proof majority of 60 votes in the Senate, which, you know, anything's going to pass the House because they have an over or, or enough of a majority to get whatever passed through the House, it, it was going to take some space up in the Senate. But here's why this worries me is because um, it very possibly could not be struck down in the Supreme Court because this isn't a, in, I don't know, it, it, depending on how you would argue it, I don't think it could be necessarily deemed an infringement on the right to bear arms because they're not banning the weapons. You can still buy them. What they're doing is is just making them prohibitively expensive via taxes, which we, you know, if you took a civics class, which I know a lot of people are very uh, not well brushed up on that, but the legislative branch where this is going to originate has the power and capacity to levy taxes. So this seems like, it seems like it could be a constitutional move in that regard where, you know, this is, within the purview of the legislative branch. And um, regardless of, it, of whether or not it had support from the Republican side or not, it's comprehensively as a body would pass through the legislation. And if it's under the guise of levy, levy, levying taxes, 
then it looks like something that they could actually have judicial merit in being able to impose. Uh, and in the fact that it's most likely going to go through um, uh, reconciliation as opposed to any sort of debatable bill, it's going to go into a reconciliation bill, which I believe they still got one more, uh, you know, one more in the chamber to use. Um, they can essentially push this through with little to no Republican support whatsoever. So what does this mean? Um, God, I really, really hate to be one of those guys who says go out and buy shit because I, I hate the fact that everyone's gotten so castrated to say like, oh, we can't, you know, we're not going to fight back. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. It's like, I don't know. I mean, they came up with a really slick, sly, and some, some would say evil way to to get their idea, their, their, their goals through. Um, and there's not much that, um, if, if, if this comes to fruition, it's not much that the average person could do, um, nor could the elected officials in Congress do that, that are against this type of thing. Uh, not to mention that, you know, there's appetite there on the Republican side to pass certain laws anyway. So, <clears throat> so what would this mean? You know, like, I guess get a shopping list together of certain things if you wanted to get it now. I mean, it's not that you won't be able to get it later, but if this goes through, it will be prohibitively expensive. Like, I mean, it's like already you can't afford things with inflation the way that it is, gas prices the way they are, food food prices the way that they are. You know, adding on, you know, who's going to spend $10,000 on an AR-15? You know, it's not, <clears throat> it's not as necessary as food is. It's not as necessary as keeping your gas tank full at the moment. I mean, obviously it's very necessary in many regards, but even if it became like a necessity, it's, it's, it's so prohibitively expensive that even people with some money are going to be like, shit, I can't afford that, you know, or I just, I won't buy it because there's other things I need to put my money towards. I need to buy a house. I need to pay for my kid's school. I need to buy food. I need to do all these other things that come before, you know, this sort of thing. And the only thing that this is going to do is prevent law abiding citizens from defending themselves. We already know this is like you'd have to be under a rock to not know that violent crime is through the roof across the country and across the board at all levels. And this is just one of those things that's just going to make um, especially theft of firearms that much more prevalent. <clears throat> um, so I guess if you already own some things, make some plans to lock that shit up even further further, you know, hide things, put them away. Don't let people know that you have them. Um, you know, don't let, just, you know, just do whatever you can to hide what you already have. And if you were looking to get something into the future, and even if you weren't particularly looking to get something, you know, I, I, I hate it. I hate telling people to go out and panic buy, you know, but <sighs> They're stupid to think that this isn't going to induce a lot of panic buying because it's going to. And <clears throat> that means there's going to be that many more weapons on the on the street, that many more opportunities for people that weren't going to obey the law anyway to go and pillage those types of uh, items. So the only thing I can think of is to get organized and organize some types of maybe protest, you know, something that would, that would garner some public support. We need to get out there and explain why this is bad for people that even consider themselves anti-gun. You know, I read the forums, I read comments on posts and Twitter and Facebook and all that crap. And like, you know, there's a whole half of the country that sees absolutely no merit in owning weapons and they're just they're like they even think that there's minuscule chances of of armed conflicts between you know china russia all those things they're like but they're never going to attack us it's like why do you think they don't want to attack us is because they know that our armed populace is something that they would have to contend with even if they were able to get past the military which is highly unlikely however 
our, our military has been dwindling and dwindling and their you know opposing militaries have been getting stronger and stronger and irregardless of a conventional war uh cyber warfare economic warfare warfare all types of you know and now they're you know pushing nuclear type stuff it's just it's nuts and here's the thing is that it's not getting any better at least for the foreseeable future. I'm an optimist in all regards. You know, I'd say that like nothing, you know, even in times of war, there's someone out there lining their pocketbook, you know. So, you know, definitely find the opportunities and keep swimming, keep pushing. Don't let these people drive you into a bunker and just stay there where you're just freaked out about everything. No, you need to get out there and live your life and <clears throat> be happy for God's sakes. But... In this interim time, you know, fucking, uh, I guess, create more of the problem for them by going out and purchasing one, two, three, you know, affordable rifles at the moment. Because if this thing passes, they'll go up technically a thousand percent in price. Not that I'm saying to go look at these as an investment, but I'm just saying. <clears throat> fuck. You know, I guess just. Uh, make a shopping list and keep those things in the shopping cart in the event that these things go hot um, to just have something. And if you already have some, you know, uh, a nice collection or whatever, you know, I guess you don't have to get anything else if you were looking to get something else. And, you know, <clears throat> maybe, it's, maybe it's a time to get something. But I think just like maybe organizing protesters. I mean, I don't have a big enough channel or, you know, enough influence to like get a movement going, but I was just putting this video out there because there's not a lot of information on this right now. There's not a lot of videos. This, this kind of, this sort of just broke, of course, on a Sunday at eight o'clock, no one's paying attention, but I'm just putting this out there so that perhaps someone will see this and they will relay the message to as many people as possible. And I don't want this frenzy of panic buying to go on, but people need to be made aware because ugh, these, these bastards are really, really tricky. And I'm not saying that like, you know, any kind of gun violence is a, is like a good thing or, or that I don't, my heart doesn't bleed for victims of it, you know, but this is not the method by which to save the populace. None of these things are going to, improve gun violence across America. There's already millions, millions of guns out there that are just prime waiting to get picked off of people now. And if you don't, if they don't think that this is going to increase uh, cartel activity, illegal crime, all, all types of just underground gun transactions, they got a sore thing coming, you know, it's just, <clears throat> it's not going to do what they think it's going to do. And uh, I guess I'm just putting this out there so that you are aware. Do with that information what you will. Anyway. All right. Well, you know the drill. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, y'all be safe out there because it doesn't look like it's getting any better. And these tyrants are not making it any easier day by day by day. So um, good luck. Peace.